I suck. I burned your mom's cookies. I burned your mom's cookies sober. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't cook. When I first went to college, it took me a month to learn how to make ramen. I still struggle with Easy Mac. The only thing I can make are sandwiches. I don't think it gets much easier than that. Don't ever expect to be blown away by my cooking, okay? I think it's pretty clear that I'm in no position to impress anyone with my skills. You're just gonna have to find a more talented man than me. I feel like this explains why I worry about rent. If you can't cook, you have to eat out a lot. Do you have any idea how expensive that is? I'd imagine you do, seeing as how you work in a restaurant. Let me just say, it's ridiculous. Maybe I complain about that too much. I'm not even that hard up. I'm just a compulsive saver. I pay my bills and then I put the rest away. I don't even know what I'm saving for exactly. Hard times? I guess. Maybe I should actually spend that money on something I really want to do. Do you remember that time we went to Santa Fe? We drove the entire day and we were gonna get a hotel room, but we couldn't because I was only 17. Then we ended up just driving all the way back home. I want to do that again. Okay. Maybe not Santa Fe, but something equally spontaneous and irresponsible. And now that we're older, our parents won't yell at us for leaving the state without their permission. Sometimes I miss how irresponsible I was. I miss having adventures because I didn't have to worry about paying my bills on time. Last night, I went to a midnight launch of a movie. That was easily the craziest thing I've done all year. I don't think I realized what a boring person I am until I started talking to you again. Your life seems so full. How do you talk to people like that? I don't want to celebrate my social awkwardness, but it's there. It's a legitimate problem. No offense, but interacting with you online is no substitute for friends like you seem to have. Maybe I'm not being fair. I do have Josh and Paul, my roommates, and I have you. You're awesome. It's just, sometimes I feel so alone. I haven't the slightest idea how to change it. Sorry, this video is gonna be a little bit short. I don't really have anything else to say, I guess. I hope you're doing well. Sometimes I feel like we just talk past each other. Sure, we're getting to know each other again, which requires a great deal of talking about ourselves, but I feel like we need to have just some conversation. Or is this whole YouTube experiment a conversation? Either way, I wanna know how you're doing. I'll talk to you later.